The federal government has a special plan for first time home buyers that allows you to draw money out of your RRSP tax free and then you have to pay it back over a period of time. A couple of important things to know about the home buyer's plan. You have to be what they define as a first time home buyer. But uh, like so many things with the government, first time does not actually mean first time. What does it mean to be a first time home buyer? It means that you did not own a home in the year of participation plus the previous four calendar years. So if I want to buy a home this year, if I do not currently own a home and I did not own a home this year, 2021, so I did not own a home in 2020, 19, 18, 17, so if I previously owned a home and sold it in 16, I am actually a first time home buyer. Also, if you have a partner, spouse of some form, it includes if your spouse has owned a home. So even if I've never owned a home, but my spouse owned a home last year, I am not a first time home buyer. So if myself or my spouse has owned a home in the last, this year plus the previous four calendar years, I'm not a first time home buyer. But if I owned a home 10 years ago, sold it 10 years ago, I am a first time home buyer. So it allows you to withdraw. 25,000 dollars per person. So if you are a couple, you can withdraw 50,000 dollars, 25 each, from your RSP. And that is tax free. Now you have to pay it back over 15 years. you do get a year's grace. So let's consider a question. Let's say that we have an individual who in 2021 withdraws $15,000 from their RSP under the home buyer's plan. Twenty twenty two is their year of grace. Beginning in twenty twenty three, they have to repay fifteen thousand divided by fifteen one thousand dollars per year. And I'll talk separately about what happens if they repay more. If they repay more, you just recalculate it. What happens if they repay less? It becomes taxable as, a with, as if it was a withdrawal from their RRSP.